Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math, I'm your host Sean E, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what the heck does this exclamation point mean in mathematics. Well, it's called a factorial. So if we have five exclamation point, that reads five factorial. Let's spell it out. Very cool vocabulary word, that's F-A-C-T-O-R-I-A-L, factorial. What does it mean? Well, five factorial is equal to five times four times three times two times one. Similarly, seven factorial equal to seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Um, so if you don't see the pattern yet, let's check out generic n factorial. Any number factorial, let's call the number n, n factorial is equal to the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So for n factorial, it would be n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 ellipses multiplied by a bunch of stuff and then finally multiplied by 1 and that's where you stop so you take a number and uh, if, if you've got any number factorial that is the product of all numbers all positive integers less than or equal to that given number. So remember that it's less than or equal, so it's going to include the number n to n7755, and then multiplied by all of the other positive integers um, going down to one that are less than it. So um, let's compute this one real quick, just so you kind of get a uh, feel for that. So five times four is 20, times three is 60, times two is 120, times one is 120, so five factorial is equal to 120, which is equal to the product of all those numbers. Um, and you can see how these can get very big very quickly. There's some cool stuff that happens when you uh, do start doing operations with factorials like division and multiplication, um, but I'll talk about that in another video um, when that comes around. Uh, you can see here though, if we put this seven factorial over five factorial, five, five, four, four, all these are gonna cancel out and make some ones and you're just going to get 1 over 7 times 6 if you divided 5 factorial by 7 factorial. I think I said it the other way around earlier, but you know, either way this could be on the numerator or the denominator depending on what's getting divided by what. But So lots of cool stuff happens there. Um, another interesting thing you'll want to know about factorials is that 0 factorial equals 1 I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to bother explaining why in this video because I'm not sure that anybody watching this is in the demographic that would want to know why 0 factorial is equal to 1. But I can definitely talk about it in another video if you'd like. Let me know if so in the comments. If I do do a video on it, then I will be sure to throw a link in the description. Um, so if you have any more questions about factorials, uh, check the description for related video links. And uh, if your question's not answered, be sure to leave it in the comments and I'll whip up a video uh, as quick as a jackrabbit. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped. Uh, let me know. Again, if there's any other details you'd like me to go over, and uh, be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet.